what happens when I'm talking about non-duality is is you have certain emotional responses to what's being spoken about and then that person is always trying to find pleasure in those personal responses so you listen to non-duality and the person listens to it only in the attempt to move towards pleasure and avoid pain so there's two things that happen it's being heard on a level beyond the person and then but it goes through the filter of the person and the person is using it to try to get to an emotional pleasure and a sensation pleasure and non-duality isn't offering you that there's not anything in it for you on the pleasure level and that's all the person is interested in is pleasure 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 it's non-duality isn't suggesting that you shouldn't have pleasure but non-duality is suggesting that what you're actually looking for what's truly being sought is who you are which is an in-pleasure and this is the big mistake of the human is the human believes that what it's looking for is pleasure but actually what it's looking for is rest and rest is remembering who you are that you're not the character that's seeking in time so don't worry if you don't understand this maybe you're thinking what is this baby talking about and maybe it's different from other non-duality speakers that you've heard Um, but just keep listening and you can ask questions and it will begin to reveal itself so there's some sort of intellectual digestion happening that you're understanding conceptually what's being said Um, but that's not really it what's really it is sinking back into who you truly are this empty looker that's right here right now that's only ever here and this alive presence so it's a remembering of who you truly are and the person on the personal level is trying to find that in what it knows in the intellect and in pleasure so those are the things that are happening so just you can just listen and it will begin to reveal itself this mystery you want to come even closer and eat it next to me don't you yeah i thought so they're funny it's most probably like a protection thing like she feels it feels safe to her to eat it really close to me because i'm i'm the big mama wolf in my imagination <laughs> in <her> imagination <laughs> i'm like the big, big mama dog but to me i'm a wolf <laughs> 